Kazakh people considered their goal to accumulate fortune and pass it down to successors. Every family celebrates the arrival of a baby with a great festivity, which was attended by all relatives who expressed their best wishes to family members. Hello. You're watching Kazakh Live Duster program with Tamara Sar. Today we will talk about Shildekhana tradition. Some traditions have reached present times in their original form, while others were changed and violated. Some traditions merged into a common ceremony. One of such traditions is Shildekhana. The guest of our studio will tell us about the rituals preceding this festive event and which are held during the celebration. Gulshat Jahankaza is the chief of the scientific and educational support department of the Center of Traditions and Customs in Shumkent City. Welcome to our studio, Gulshat. Hello, please tell us about the rituals that are held along the Shildekhana celebration. Indeed, at present, many traditions were merged into a single festive event. For example, people often celebrate the rites of Shildekhana, Besiktoy, the rite of giving a name to a newborn as a common festive event. Perhaps this implies a simple saving of money or modernization of traditions, but still it is better to adhere to each tradition separately and celebrate it accordingly. It's more correct. Yes, each tradition has its own purpose. Every tradition is aimed at certain educational upbringing. There is a ritual which is held before Shildekhana event. Especially elder women in some villages follow it diligently. During the childbirth, elder women close mirrors, fill the dishes with milk, open the necks of the sacks. This is called Jaras Khazan ritual. They open chests. Yes, women open chests. During the ritual, parts of cattle, which were especially slaughtered for the event, are boiled in a cauldron. Basically, those parts that are cooked quickly, kidneys and liver. This rite is performed in order to comfort the woman giving birth, so that she deals with contractions easily and the baby is born quickly. It is called Jaras Kazan ritual. In some regions, people call it Kazan Jaras. And in moments when labors are very intensive, the daughter-in-law experiences difficult moments, young women gather in the yard and perform the ritual Dustemir. They stomp, pound on the ground, shout out the words Dustemir. It is believed that this rite helps the child to quickly come into life. It is performed during contractions. Yes. There is another ritual. If the contractions last for a long time, then men in the house make a noise. They beat a tambourine, shoot a gun. Similar moments can sometimes be evidenced in movies. This ritual has long been carried out by our elder women and men. Presently still, some people follow the ritual. It's wonderful. This is the moment preceding the birth of a child. What can you tell about ritual of Qarqanan Shigharu before Shadihana and the right of giving a name to a baby? It's believed that Kazakhs immediately gave a name to the newborn. When the newborn arrives in the house, no abusive, rude words are pronounced. Family members don't make strong, extraneous noises. Later, a mullah or the newborn's grandfather is invited. He reads ikama in the right ear of the child, and adan is called out in the baby's left ear. 
This way, the baby is given a name. So after the rituals of Jarus Kazan and giving a name to a baby, women celebrate Shildekhana tradition. This is a long-awaited event for everyone. Guests come without waiting for a special invitation. That is, guests were not especially invited. Yes, women came without invitation. They came congratulated on the birth of a child, wished health and strength. The ritual of Shildekhana followed. Its meaning is the next 40 days, the child and his mother are taken care thoroughly. The child was carefully protected from evil eye. It is believed that the woman's and her child's organisms are getting stronger within 40 days. This is believed to be the days of the rest while the mother hills also protect the infant as it adjusts to the world and both learn the skills of motherhood. They interconnect. A newborn's mother is carefully looked after until her body gets stronger. During this period, the elder women cook for the woman a special soup. We call it bulamap. It is a special dish and its recipe is unique. It's very delicious and is made with a certain intention. It is called bil kutirir. Such broad food is healthy not only for women who have recently given birth, but also for people to strengthen organism after a long winter. In other words, it's healthy for women who have vitamin deficiency. It's a healthy dish, yes. Such food is very useful for women. I will tell you the recipe. Elder women pour wheat into a cauldron and fry it. Then dried melon is added. This recipe is especially popular in the southern regions. Everything is well mixed, boiled, then butter, milk are added. Such porridge helps women to strengthen bones, support healthy organism. It contains a lot of vitamins. While the woman breastfeeds her child, he will receive all those vitamins. There is another ritual which is held within 40 days. In the course of time, it was changed and was subsequently forgotten. It is called Sinduro, when the daughter's-in-law mother brings Kalja. Relatives of the daughter-in-law hold celebrations. Yes, co-parents-in-law come to hold Kalja even for a newborn baby. Co-mother-in-law brings cereals, curd, butter, cottage cheese. This implies her daughter's stepping into new life as a mother. She stays for several weeks, teaches her daughter how to take care of the child. During this period, another interesting rite is held with participation of relatives. The ritual when a daughter-in-law puts on a headscarf that identifies her status of a mother. The ritual is called Zhilek al Masteru, which means change of headscarf. The woman who had recently given birth to a child puts on a headscarf called Kimishek that covered her chest. It is comfortable for breastfeeding. A new headscarf was given so that the daughter-in-law could cover herself while breastfeeding. It's wonderful. This ride is quite common in present time. Now shawls are gaining popularity among girls, which is very pleasing. Wisha, thank you very much for coming to our studio and sharing useful information. Good luck to your center, which promotes revival of authentic Kazakh traditions and passes them down to the next generation. Long years to you. Thank you.
We continue our program. Shildekhana means in Persian 40 days. In the ancient time, Shildekhana was called differently, Shildekuzet. The first 40 days after the birth are considered the most dangerous for a baby, so he and his mother were taken care thoroughly. The woman was treated with all kinds of delicious dishes. Kazakh culture has its old ways of caring for a woman who had recently given birth to a child, where a woman remains at home focusing on healing her body and bonding with her baby. After this period, people celebrate Kirkhanan Shagaru ritual. The next guest of our studio will tell us about this tradition. Guljamal Kazakhbaeva is the honored artist of Kazakhstan, actress of children and youth theater, laureate of Parasat State Order. Laureate of the State Prize. Welcome. You successfully combined the profession of an actress and a grandmother. How many grandchildren do you have? I have six grandchildren. You are blessed. Thank you. Praise to the God. People say raise your own children until they grow up, but raise your grandchildren until your death. This is such a time when you try to pass down all your knowledge and experience to your own grandchildren. What rituals did you adhere to with your daughter-in-law and your grandchildren? What rights do you know? In the Kazakh people love rituals. There are actually a lot of them. Some are known to us, some are forgotten. When I was a child in the village, when a woman was having contractions, all the girls gathered to see what's happening. They gathered to see. Yes, they tried to look into the windows. We walked around the house being curious. Yes. At this moment, an elder woman called us and cut up the hems of our dresses. We ran away in tears, but we didn't know that it was an ancient ritual. It is held during the birth process in order for the baby to be born as soon as possible. In general, to comfort a woman giving birth. <laughs> it is a wonderful ritual. Perhaps the ritual implies a psychological approach. As people say, one can hurt with a glance or a word. After all, children could see the woman's contractions, remember some scene. Therefore, such a technique could divert their attention to torn clothes. Then the child probably immediately forgot about the woman who was experiencing labor pains. <laughs> probably so. In general, I believe in various rituals and signs. Kaza people sacredly follow the tradition of 40 days when they take care of the woman and her child. This is actually a wonderful tradition. The number 40 is considered to be sacred. This figure is reflected in the spiritual culture of the people. Therefore, many traditions are associated with the number 40. Kharkhanan Shagaru ritual is one of the wonderful events in the life of a newborn. Kharkhanan Shagaru for a baby girl is celebrated exactly on the 40th day after her birth, but for the boys after 37, 38 days. There are certain periods. There are certain rules. Daughter-in-law invites friends, women from across the village gather and bring gifts. Dishes are cooked and dastrakhan is set. Women fill a new bowl with silver coins and silver adornments as presents for those women who were participating in the sacred rite and pour 40 tablespoons of water. While women pour with a spoon water onto a baby, they utter best wishes to him. This is a new tradition. Apparently some old ritual was revived. Yes, traditions are constantly changed. Yes, they do. They pour water in such a way. Women pour 40 tablespoons of water. Pour 40 tablespoons, say 40 wishes. Women bathe the baby in this water. 
cut the baby's fingernails, cut the fingernails, shave baby's hair. This procedure is held only on the 40th day after the baby's birth, after shaving baby's hair is kept in Tamar, an amulet that is hung on a cradle. I would like to show the process of Qurhanan Shaharu ritual to our viewers. Yes, sure. Yeah, see you. The program Kazakh Life Dastur represents the Kazakh traditions, and today in our studio there is a little baby Yiskander. We will hold Kirkanan Shagara ritual for him. An experienced grandmother Gujamal, who has six grandchildren, will begin this rite. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. As it was already mentioned, a child is bathed in salty water for 40 days every day. Why salty? The child is tempered in a salty water. It means that when the child grows up, he stumbles and falls, gets slightly scratched, then all his wounds will quickly heal. Yes, the child was bathed, tempered in salty water. Usually we call babies as tempered in salty water. Such children will have no sores. Their wounds will be healed quickly. Kazakhs have known about this since ancient times. And now all guests will say their wishes and pour 40 tablespoons of water. Pour in the water and let's start. You may wish something. Let him grow bold. Let him grow strong. Great. Let him love his people. Great. And what will our grandmother say? Let him become a singer, like the talented Yeskandar Hasan Khalif. Amen. Let it be so. The baby's name is also Yeskandar. Let him grow up a courageous man. Wow. Let him be happy. I wish happiness for him. May your wishes come true. Let him be not only the son of his mother, but also the son of his nation. Amen. Thus, all guests express their wishes and pour 40 tablespoons of water. May he become a wealthy man. I wish him prosperous life. Let him have many cattle. Let his pounds be full of cattle. Yes. With this wish, we put silver adornments in water. Silver, after all, cleans water from germs. This is a sign of purity and abundance. Later, we will distribute all the silver adornments to guests, depending on their age. We will wait for a gift. We will give you the best gift because you bless the baby. Now it's time for a blessing. Bata. May the Almighty guide and support you. I wish well-being, prosperity, peace to all relatives. May the spirit of our ancestors protect you. May you be gifted with the age of Jambol and the wisdom of Abai. Amen. We receive the elder's blessing. Now we will welcome the baby. The daughter-in-law brings Yeskender. Bring him here. Let's start. We will start with Bismillah in the name of God. Look the way he's held. God bless you. I will hold the baby's head. Water should cover the baby's body. Yes, then there will be no redness. Accept my congratulations. I congratulate you on Qarqanan Shaharu. He's a real shigat. Until the baby turns 40 days, he confuses day with night. He often cries. But after 40 days, the child comes down. Sleeping schedule is kept. During bathing the baby, every part of the body should be washed well, especially ears, creases on the neck, armpits, groin should be bathed well. Every part of the body should be washed carefully. Then there will be no redness or sores. So that in the future, a person doesn't suffer unpleasant body odor. Elder women on Kirkanan Shagaru write, rub the baby's chest, squeezing out a certain liquid. Usually baby girls have white liquid. 
одан өзінің бір сұйықтығын шығарады. Ол денеде қалып қойған қыз баладан кішкентай сүт. Like milk. Liquid like milk excludes baby boy's liquid is like water. So if this liquid is washed away well, in the future the child will not have unpleasant body odor. It's wonderful. Yeskandiras batter. He didn't cry at all. I think Tamara Sar is blessed with talents. Ал енді ішімізде кім шебер? Тамара Асар. Thank you. Өзі әнші, өз көйгі. She sings, sews dresses, crafts with beads and paints. Grandma, let's ask her to cut the baby's fingernails. Апасы, мұна Асар ғызымыздан тұрнағын алып бердеп, өтініш жасай әрінді. Thank you. I'm a presenter of the program, and I can cut child's fingernails. As... Why not cut Yeskandir's nails? Give us the scissors, please. I wish you success in your endeavors in the future. May you inherit all my kindness. When you get stronger, you will be a skilled person. Bismillah. Let Fatima Bibi guide my hand. He doesn't cry. Collect his nails carefully. <laughs> Nails can't just be thrown away. They need to be buried where no man's footsteps, under a tree, wishing a prosperous life to the baby. We cut the nails. Now his grandmother will shave his head. I will hold the ritual. Bismillah. The baby trembles. Hair should be collected and kept. We gave a bath to the baby, cut his fingernails, and shaved his head. Now this water needs to be poured under a fruit tree. What we will do with silver adornments? We will distribute silver items among guests. We will give them to all guests. What a wonderful event. It is a festive event with interesting process. Yes, we're all waiting for the jewelry to be distributed. Grandma, what do you choose? What do you choose? Are you pleased? We will give the silver bracelet to the elder woman who gave her blessing. Amen. Please, this is for you. It looks good on you. Let him grow happy. I will give these beautiful earrings to Tamar. Thank you very much. Let them adorn you on the stage. I hope. Thank you. This is for you, my daughter-in-law. Thank you. I will present this ring to the boy. He will give the present to someone else. Save it to present it to your bride in the future. My dear, our daughter-in-law blessed us with a grandson. This is for you. Thank you. I think everyone is pleased. I got a silver ring. May all your wishes come true. Let the baby grow up a distinguished person. I wish peace in the court to our country. Amen. Let it be so. Every family is blessed when the baby arrives. The baby brings immense happiness. Let us preserve and fulfill all the prescribed rights when we share this joy with our family. You watched Kazakh Live Duster program with Tamara Sar. See you soon.